I'm trying not to cry about it. <sighs> By the way, I'm pregnant. That's why I'm like a little biatch. That's why I keep crying like a little biatch. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that it's not a kind of girl that you should make a move on. And if I don't know, then I won't be for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. And if I see you more, then it becomes so true. There ain't no other me. It's only you. I'm high time. If you should call me. Welcome back to my channel guys. We are currently in the living room. I personally don't know if this video is going to be attached to other videos that I'm doing already or how this is going to work or whatever. But I've been doing such a sucky job at recording myself um, these last couple days. I, didn't, I haven't really recorded since May 1st and it's May 5th. So, and I really wanted to record the last month of pregnancy. So you can start, you so bleh, I can't talk. I'm, I'm kind of tired, my hair look a mess. I'm in the living room with all his stuff. And there's Zay, say hey. So yeah, I'm gonna pretty much vlog me washing some of his clothes and blankets tonight. Cause my mom's fussing at me, even though I got like four weeks left. Uh, she got tired of me calling her at her job because she had her second one. So, we're about to get this party started. And we're actually going to get the basket together, which is this basket. We're getting this basket together. Damn, my camera's dying. For, um, the actual birth, because I'm doing a home birth. If you do not know, it's going to be in this living room, but all this shit won't be here by then. And, yeah. So stay tuned. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that it's not a kind of girl that should make a move on. And if I don't let you know, then I won't be here for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It's Friday, May 14th. It's May 14th. 
And honey, let me tell you, my boss is tired, okay? I just woke up, so my hair looks how it looks. But I have a midwife appointment today at 10 o'clock, and I got up at 9. So here I am, child. Just gonna put this thing on my head really quickly until Miss Kim gets here. Don't mind my underarms though. Might not even use this footage. I'm silly. Okay. Why did Deontay decide to go to Houston? When Isaiah is so close to getting here? I have no idea. But he's living his best life. He'll call me later. So, in even better news, I got a new car. And I'll give you guys like a miniature car tour later. Right now, I'm in my grandparents' bedroom. This is where I come to get ready since my grandmother's deceased and my granddaddy don't really use this room like that unless he's sleeping. So technically, it's my room. But anyways, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm so excited. We are two weeks out until Zay is here, I guess. I guess he'll be here in two weeks. I don't know what his plan is. I don't know. But um, I'm excited. And I hope and pray he comes on May 29th. I don't care what else he do in life. I do care. But right now, as of right now, I want him to be here on May 29th. So... Good morning. Oh, it is Sunday, May 16th, 2021. And I guess I'm almost, I'm like 15 days away from my due date now. Which is interesting. I'm at my favorite breakfast restaurant. It's called Woodchucks in my city. Some people might know about it. Some people know that I love this place. <laughs> I always mention it. But, um, and now I'm just hanging out, waiting on my breakfast to be finished. Because I guess I came too early, even though it's been like 10 minutes or so. But it feels like he's coming. Not early, but on time. I'm going to try to start walking him down. So I don't have those issues like so he can come right on time like the day that I want him to come on which is May 29th um that's my grandmother's birthday so I really want him to come on that day but I'm not gonna force him to come out if that's not what he want you know but we shall see I never left um here's a little update in my room I brought my desk back and now it's moved over because I have a refrigerator in here now I have Xavier's uh, caddy in his bedside um, bassinet and I also finished organizing the closet <laughs> So this is how the closet looks right now. 
This is just his hamper. Don't mind the walls. The walls old as hell. So the hamper. This is what the closet is looking like so far. I gotta finish putting up his clothes. Some of my stuff still in here. I need to get rid of. And some of his other things that just needs to be put away or is for when we move. And his books that I've been reading to him throughout the pregnancy. The Dockertot. Um, that thing, I forgot what it's called. It's like a baby dome or something like that. And a whole bunch of diapers and pampers. And then I'm going to finish putting up his stuff. I'm going to just keep that up there for right now until I have the energy to like pull it all down and use that. But yeah, that is the closet so far. I am about to meet my doula, Keisha, at the park. Well, not at the park. I'm meeting her at Gabby's track. So we can go for a walk. I feel huge. I might take this off my head because it's hot as the devil's booty crack. That's the broom y'all see over there in the corner. Cause yeah. Ugh. So that is that. I'm not um I'm not gonna put anything on my hair while I do this walking situation because it's just too hot. And yes, I'm about to change what we'll make me some water to go and a snack to go. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, So yeah, I don't know if I'm about to take my camera out here on the Trezac, but I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like so far. Yeah, because I got to take my phone out there. I don't want to. I'm gonna put my phone on my hip is what I'm just gonna do. Oh, it's so fucking hot, baby. Golly. And I don't want my camera like fucking overheat. Oh, but it feels so good out here. Big belly biggie in the beat. Here we go. Okay. I don't know if I'm about to wait on Keisha long or if I'm just gonna go stretch. I think I'm gonna go stretch and then I'm gonna call her. Hello? Hello? Hey. Where you at? Uh, I just oh yeah yeah I'm coming. Okay, I part way down here. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Today is May twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. I am officially thirty nine weeks today. So that means that he can come pretty much any time this week, next week. But I'm hoping Saturday. I'm praying to God he comes Saturday on everything like saturday will be just ideal perfect right but um as you can tell i'm on the toilet so i'll catch up with you guys in like a second i i literally just woke up i literally just like turned over but i, I mean i've been up but this is the first time i'm really opening my mouth other than talking to my mom this morning <sighs> And I'm hungry. And I'm tired. I'm tired, but I got shit to do today, so I can't sleep. And people are buzzing my phone. So, yeah. Okay, so, hey guys, we're back. I'm doing fine still. No progress. No crazy progress. But I am headed to the gym right now. And, um,. We're gonna get on the treadmill so we can walk this baby down. So come on.
what's up guys i'm back um we went for a walk it's been a while now i didn't change yeah so i was back together and i laid down and i started having contractions kind of but nothing's been like it's like it starts and stop i don't know i don't know what i'm doing but it doesn't look like xavier's coming today even though I want him to, I mean, it's okay. It's all, it's really okay that he doesn't. Um, his due date is Monday, so yeah. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. I I felt like really really bad cramping earlier um, when I first laid down, came back in and laid down and stuff. Uh, whew, excuse me. I know I be yawning a lot, but sorry. Um, the walk was really, really great, but um, I could definitely tell like it did something because the contractions or the cramps or whatever you want to call them, the pre-labor cramps or contractions was they was on ten, but bearable, very bearable. Um, I'm just waiting at this point. I'm gonna like sit on my uh ball my medicine or the what is it called the yoga ball i'm gonna sit on the yoga ball for a little bit and see what that do but he doesn't want to come right now so like it's helping him get here quicker but not really <laughs> so we just gonna see I don't know. I'm just chilling in the bed again, obviously, like always. <sighs> so, the walk was great. Overall, it worked. It did what it needed to do. But, we're still waiting. And I got a band-aid on my finger now because my nail was peeling. Oh, I thought I had a real text message or something now. But anywho, I will see you guys when things start picking up seriously. So, peace out. Good morning. It is 8 o'clock on the dot. And I think I'm about to have a contraction. I am having a contraction. Thank God they're not as intense right now, but they're coming on pretty strong. Just not hella strong, right? Um, I had to mute the TV, sorry. But um, I've been up since about three o'clock this morning. Well, like 2.40, 2 2.40 is the first message I sent my midwife, so I'm waiting on her to get up. Um, but I guess Tay is on his way. He'll probably be here tonight. I'm excited. But I've got maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes of sleep. So I'm going to try to go back to sleep. My mucus plug has fallen out officially about like 3 o'clock. Between 3 and like 4 45 or so. Um, I don't, not sure if my water broke yet, if it is going to break or whatever the case may be. But, um, I am in a great deal of pain. Low key, not, not a lot. Um, but we're gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. But I am about to get some rest right now. Since, um, I really didn't get much sleep. So, I will holler at y'all later. Hopefully I'm still like this calm. So, peace. I'm pumping because my midwife said this would work as far as um, stimulating contractions more. So this is day two of nothing really happening. Morning time and night time will be excruciating pain and then the rest of the day I'm fine sometimes but maybe he is coming on Thursday 
I don't know at this point. <sighs> Good morning. What's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> so now my water broke about. It broke about. My water broke about 20 minutes ago, around 9:35. It's now 9.55 and I am leaking a lot at this point. My midwife Kim told me to go ahead and go for a walk. So I'm getting up and I'm getting mama up so we can go for a walk really quickly. Um, because I'm about to go in real labor now. And what's funny is um, the episode that I woke up to. Uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm sorry this is Fresh Space. Don't judge me. Um, I woke up to watch the episode when the real Aunt Viv actually went into labor. So I think it's funny and ironic that I'm in labor right now. So me and mommy is finna go for a walk. Yeah, so I will update you guys later on what's happening. Because things are going to start progressing. Uh, I've been in pre-labor or early labor for like three days. Now it's like literally happening. I felt it pop and gush came out in the toilet. It's crazy. So yeah, we're finally having a baby today, hopefully. <sighs> hey y'all, so I wanna lay down for a couple seconds because, uh -oh, I don't know, because I'm in a great deal of pain right now. Not a great deal, but the pressure is real. I'm on the couch. I'm breaking out a little bit. I don't know where that came from. So I don't even think it was there earlier. But whatever. My body is so tired. And I've been having contractions all day. They definitely picked up this evening. Um, since my midwife like worked me out. Whatever. And now we're just waiting on Zay to come. Like, I am having, <sighs> excuse me. I always don't want to come on camera. I am having bloody show. Um, and it's a lot of it. And I'm like doing my different positions and stuff, but I needed a break because I am so freaking exhausted. My back is low key killing me and not necessarily killing me i've just been sitting up for a long time where i need a break for real um i'm just so exhausted a little bit because my water broke at 9 35 a.m so yeah i'm just taking a little side break for right now for like 30 minutes and then i'm back up and i'm gonna be doing my exercises or my positions to help Zay position himself well enough to get up on out of there. So we might have a baby tonight. Might have one early in the morning. Don't know. We'll see. Hola. It is one o'clock in the morning. Oh shit. At this point, it's one o'clock and uh, still no baby here. But he should be here soon. Who knows when though. Okay, great. <clears throat> so everybody's here. It is 2.02. It's only been an hour. And some change. Nothing really still happening. But say hey, Keisha. Hey. Miss Kim. What's up, y'all? Y'all already know who that is. <laughs> I don't know why she's looking like that. Cause but. I'm sleepy. Okay, and I need a pillow. Is that? Oh, here we go. Okay. So you can definitely rest your arm on, cause okay. it's gonna take about a couple minutes. Okay. Well, does she need to be on this side of the sofa? Cause no, it's the arm weighs right here. Cause I'm able to fold the pillow up. Go. 
Just shoot it all in there. She'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I gotta go slow or I'll blow out her vein. Nah, but yeah, this is gonna, she gonna have my mom on top of her arm. She ain't need to say, cause she don't like me. Listen, she done experienced contractions. This is, uh. <laughs> She's done really well. She it's has a good. high, I think she has a high tolerance for pain. Yeah. Unlike me. Yesterday, maybe an hour later, this shit was going to come out my head. Because my head hurt. Uh, yep, there you go. Um, well, family, it is 5.43 and we are back. Contractions started up again around five or at least that's the time she woke me up is this thing recording okay uh, i'm sorry i just put it it's all right that's okay miss universe uh, you good oh uh, that's cold that's cold what's cold my my it is nightgown oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not ready to do all that. And that just made me want to push. Uh huh. Because the seat is an inch in. So, next contraction. Right now. Go ahead and push. Brittany, with the next contraction, I want you to push like you're pooping. Okay. I want it all in your pelvic area. Okay. And what you're going to do, what you're going to feel is baby kind of rocks down. So push as hard as you can, then catch your breath and continue. 
So it's like you'll move down a couple centimeters, then up one okay. when you breathe in. But you want to take that breath in so you give him oxygen, okay? you a little bit because you're pushing the baby's head through your vagina okay. and that's okay don't run away from it just go with it and go through it oh, yeah. oh, hot child. Oh. if you go in my bag open it up at yeah open it up at the bottom at the very bottom of the car, you see a purple pad oh. Right at the it's bottom the of the exercise, man. Oh, yeah. oh, tell me. No, no, um, of the suitcase. Suitcase, okay. You should see purple pads at the bottom of the suitcase. Like if it was standing up, the bottom. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, now I want you to push right here. Push my fingers out of your vagina. You got to push. Still there? No. Okay, rest. Everybody meet Zay. The future Ready. NFL superstar. Yeah, yeah. for real. Snapping it. She did a good job. Mm -hmm. She tired. Right. Right. Oh. Right. Um, I'll test it. it. Does it feel like heaviness? Like you got to push it in? Uh, not right now. Okay. okay. So that's yeah. like it's not like serious. Yeah. Okay. 740. Like Damn, I was like. <laughs> Sure did. <laughs> Why well, can't? It's okay, Bookie. Oh, you brought the onesie for him, Miss. Miss How did he get to FaceTime? You brought the onesie. Oh, I usually bring it on the um, oh. up, on the first visit. Okay. Do okay. What's your name? No, I can no. usually give a onesie. Oh, but at the first visit. Ooh, ooh. So the cooter, 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 cooter is thriving. <laughs> <laughs> this her baby sister. Oh, okay. She pretty. She a pretty lady. She a white Brittany. What'd you say, topic. auntie? Look at the baby. Thank you, auntie. Is that a Neil and Cameron? A Neil, Cameron, and Cece. He is long. Oh, the arms. We, we ain't got to that part yet. Oh. Oh but he, he's been here. He's been here eight minutes. Right. <laughs> Girl, oh, don't do it, Tamika. Okay, let me call you back. I got other people to call. You was number two. Okay. All right, bye.